promo code Joe. I see my name in shiny lights. Yeah, a different city every night. Oh, I, I swear the world better prepare for when I'm a billionaire. It's time to get down to business on the weekend's number one business program. Known as the king of networking, your host, Shalom Klein, has worked with thousands of entrepreneurs and created countless jobs. So, to success, let's get down to business. And indeed, we are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You are on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at Shalom Klein. Dot com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you will not want to miss. It's a live show. You can call in with your questions to our beautiful studio here in Elk Grove Village, 312-642-5600. We're powered by our good friends at Tandem HR, your solution center. Give them a call, 630-928-0510. We've got a packed studio of some fantastic people, so let's get right into it. I'm joined here in studio by the fantastic and wonderful Jason, the head of school for the Chicago Academy of the Arts. Uh, Jason, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thrilled to be here. <laughs> so Jason Patera, so tell us uh, your story and uh, of, of finding the school. And I, I can tell you with a smile on your face, you're just so passionate about the work of the Chicago Academy of the Arts. So I, I work at the, the coolest high school in the world, and uh, we're the Chicago Academy for the Arts. We're in the River West neighborhood. We've been there for about 35 years. I've been there, depending on when you start counting, for the past 20 or 25. And I found this place through a bizarre set of coincidences. I was on the delivery for this music shop I worked at when I was 16 years old, and uh, they sent me to this, to this school. I walk in the door, and I'm thinking, this is a high school, Really? Where's the barbed wire? My high school's got barbed wire. My high school's got police out front. Why does everybody here look so happy? And I just started hanging out there. The woman who was the principal, I did this for a couple of years, 16, 17, 18 years old. The woman who was the principal pulls me aside one day and explains she is determined that I'm going to become a high school teacher. I thought this was a crazy idea. I was going to be a rock star. And she says, you are going to be a high school teacher. She made me go to college. She made me finish the program. And she said, when you finish, you're going to come back here and teach. We're chatting with Jason Patera, the head of school for the Chicago Academy for the Arts. And Jason, you have described um, the school as a magical place. Um, your words, not mine. Uh, tell us a little bit about the outcomes. Tell us about the, the graduates and the folks that are coming out of this, as you say, magical place. Sure. Well, the, the educational model here is rigorous academic courses, and then there's three to five hours every day of specialized arts training. So students who come through this program are well qualified to audition successfully at all the best uh, arts conservatories and colleges in the country. And about two-thirds of them do that, and many go on to achieve the, the best possible success in the arts fields. One of the leads in Hamilton right now is one of our alums. Uh, another one of our alums has written three or four number one songs in the last few years. Uh, we have some Grammy winners uh, among our alums. About two-thirds of our alums go into the arts when they leave the school. Another third, though, they don't pursue the arts. They go into law or they go into finance or they go into science or they go into mathematics because they're well-prepared to do those things as well. And are those your boring examples or uh, are you proud of them too? <laughs> we are absolutely proud of them. <laughs> you know, it, it's, when a 14-year-old when a walks through the door, we want them thinking that they're going to be the next Spielberg, that they're going to be the next Baryshnikov, that they're going to write the next great American novel. When you're 14, you're supposed to dream big, and a lot of our alums succeed on that level. But we're thinking what, what we're doing is actually something really bigger, that we're preparing them to be successful no matter what path they take, whether that's the arts or, or something totally different. Behind those success stories of all of those graduates, and you just named many very, very uh, notable, uh, noteworthy uh, uh, examples of alums that have come through the Chicago Academy for the Arts, there must be a very, very talented uh, faculty and administration that's enabling all of this work to take place. Obviously, I see you here in studio. You're, you're beaming from ear to ear, and you've probably told this story hundreds, perhaps even thousands of times. But tell us about your colleagues and the people that make it all happen. These are the best teachers in the world. I have absolute confidence in that. We're an independent school. 
And so as an independent school, we can draw our faculty from a variety of sources. All of our arts teachers are relevant professionals in the world. So when you're in, uh, when you're in dance class, your dance teacher is somebody with significant experience and success in that field. When you're in music class or if you're in an acting class, these are people who have, who have notable achievements in that field and also a passion and effectiveness for teaching. Combine that with a culture of mentorship, a culture of relationships. I, I'm the head of the school. I know every single kid in the building. Every kid's got my cell phone number. It's a very family-like atmosphere. When you combine that expertise with that, that closeness in the community, the outcomes are bound to be fantastic. So, Jason, you mentioned that uh, the Chicago Academy for the Arts is an independent school. Um, how are your students and families finding out about the school, and how is the school funded? So, so I'm glad you asked, asked that. It, we are actually one of two schools in Chicago, arts high schools in Chicago, with virtually the same name. So there's one school called the Chicago High School for the Arts. They call themselves Shy Arts. They're a public school. They're part of CPS. And we are an independent school, Chicago Academy for the Arts. Uh, independence means that our students come from all over the place. They come from certainly the city of Chicago. They come from Naperville. They come from Winnetka. We have a student who comes in from Whitewater, Wisconsin every day. It's a three-hour trip one way. Um, in independent school, we don't get any money from the state. We don't get any money from the federal government. All of our money comes through a combination of tuition and fundraising. We do a substantial amount of fundraising because every year we award almost a million and a half dollars in financial aid and scholarships to help make it possible for elite young artists to be able to enroll in our program. Obviously, arts is in the school name. How do you stay current on the latest uh, and greatest in the world of, of arts? Uh, do you frequently have speakers and visitors to the school? A school like ours, on, staying current on the arts, fr arts front is pretty easy because we're able to attract all sorts of guest artists all the time. They might come in for an afternoon and hang out with the students. They might be in residency for three or four months. Education everywhere is changing very rapidly, though. It's, re it's a revolutionary pace of change. And schools everywhere have to sort out between, is this a fad that's going to go away in two months, or are these changes things that we need to get on board and adopt? Um, the training that we're able to provide our teachers and our small size and flexibility allows us to respond rapidly to the, the changes in the educational environment. Are there any models uh, that you're following around the country uh, that you are essentially replicating, or are there other schools that are replicating the model that you have created here in Chicago? We are absolutely the standard bearer. There are only four independent arts high schools in the entire country. We're the only one that's not a boarding school. We're the only one that's in a, in a city environment. So, so we, uh, we are unique in that regard, and we're proud of that. So, Jason, uh, our listeners are surely uh, amazed by the examples that you've provided, the story, your story, which truly is incredible. I understand uh, the Chicago Academy for the Arts is really the only place that you've worked, and it's, it's clearly, as you described it, as a magical place. What can people do to step up? I realize that uh, you rely on donations, but tell us how people can get involved and support your marvelous work. The most important thing people can do is spread the word about the work that we're doing. Like I said, it's a magical place. We've had a long history of enormous success with our alums. People can tell their friends, if you know a really high-achieving young artist who would benefit from an education like this, send them to our school. We're, we're a high school. We take transfer students, but we also have a great Saturday and summer program for students in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And, and we're all the time, we're recruiting for music, dance, uh, media arts, visual arts, theater, and musical theater. Incredible, incredible. And uh, folks that, want, that, that potentially know people in the arts that might want to volunteer or step up, uh, how can they uh, get involved that way? The best way to learn more about us is our website, chicagoacademyforthearts.org. And it's got information not only about giving, not only about the audition and application process, but, but ways for people to spread the word and get involved. Absolutely fantastic. Jason Patera, thank you so much for joining us uh, here in the studio, telling us about this magical place, Chicago Academy for the Arts. One more time, the website so our listeners can find out more about ways to get involved. ChicagoAcademyForTheArts.org. 
Fantastic. Jason Patera, the head of school, Chicago Academy for the Arts. I uh, appreciate your time on the program. We'll be sure to follow the uh, the progress and the story uh, of all the fantastic work that you're doing. Speaking of stories, we've got many, many more coming up on the program today. Uh, we are the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship, and we have some fantastic guests lined up today. You don't want to miss a moment of it. Also, uh, a special treat towards the end of the program We've got some tips, advice, and information for all of you small business owners out there. You don't want to miss it, Chicago. You're listening to Get Down to Business. I'm your host, Shalom Klein. You could get on my website, shalomklein.com, and that's where you get a sneak peek of who's going to be on next week on this very program. Uh, And uh, be sure to check out our wonderful sponsors, Tandem HR. They are our solution center. Give them a call, 630-928-0510. They also have a fantastic new website with a great blog, information about the Affordable Care Act and all sorts of compliance information that you need. Stay current if you are running a business and you have employees in this day and age. Check out their website, tandemhr.com. But Chicago, we'll be right back.